forms the quality structures. See the wall wax is the best example. Wall wax is the brown shape or which within this one, okay, group of cells are uh, forms the colonial structures or colonies. Colonial structures are colonies, right? Let's see put the colonial gate. The best example is the wall wax. Remember, here this one is the round shape. Many number of cells are involved and which are combined, okay, which are joined, forms the colony. That is something called colonial algae. And some of the algae are filamentous algae, which forms the filamentous structures. Some of these algae forms the filamentous structures. Okay, the filamentous structures, especially seen in Spirogyra, Ectocarpus is there, Eurothrix is there. See. The filamentous algae examples are Spirogyra, Eulothrix, Ectogamus. We have to remember these examples also with an examination between the colonial algae, uh, okay, the given, the given below options, which one related to the colonial algae or uh, the given list, okay, below given list, which of the organisms are having filamentous body structure. Then we have to choose that spider and electric and ectocarpus. Finally, all of the above is there, we have to choose that all of the above. These, these three options are given, right? So, <coughs> spider especially forms that uh, element structure and this is also a ribbon shape. Spider also forms the ribbon shape. Neurotrix is also element structure, right? And uh, see, the last one is that uh, huge plant body structures. See, the algae, these are the advanced organisms. These are the advanced organisms within the algae, right? And these are the forms that uh, fuse uh, plants or uh, massive body structures. Massive body structures. Examples are laminary, they pore fire, and calyps. See, calyps are the very interesting algae, right? Calyps which are grown up to the 100 meters. Up to the 100 meters. See, whatever the huge plant bodies are there, or the calyps are there, which are grown up to the 100 meters. That one is also very important factor. And the calyps, which are also supporting for the extraction of the iodine. From the cal calyps, okay, we are extracting the iodine, right? So the calyps and the, the laminaria porphyra, right, these are the advanced plants. So why these are considered as advanced plants? Whatever the reproductive organs are there, Reproductive organs are here advanced one. Here reproductive organs are advanced one. Because there is a carpogonias are present. Carpogonia means we discussed there is a multicellular geogonic systems are there. Okay, multicellular geogonic systems. The starting point is here. The starting point is here. Simply, okay, within within the huge plants or the last last type of algae is the red algae. First one is chlorophycin, next one is pheopycin, right? Last one is the rhodopycin, means green algae, brown algae, red algae. Last one is the red algae. Always last one is the advanced one. Always last one is the advanced one. So, sir, how these are considered as advanced? Because the reproductive organs are advanced, then the plants also considered as advanced plants. The plants also consider as advanced plants, right? That is about the algae structure. And next one we will discuss about the chlorophyll content and the cell wall composition and uh, some of the other characteristic features of the algae. Here, after that, uh, the structure and next one is the cell wall. See, within that algae, algae are having the cell wall. The cell wall is made up of with that cellulose. Right, and uh, along with that cellulose, in different types of species and different types of components also present. Means uh, within that chlorophyllase, one type of cell wall composition is there, and within that pheopyse, composition is different, and the rhodopyse again the components are different. Moreover, here the cellulose content is the common one, along with that cellulose content. In certain cases, all genes present, in certain cases, there is an. Uh, Phosphate is present in certain cases. Uh, yeah, uh, there is an uh, modified pectin components also there. Modified pectin components also there. See what I am trying to tell. Rhodopyce one type of cell wall composition, and uh, pheopyce another type of uh, cell wall composition. 
right? And uh, chlorophyll is another type of cell wall composition. But uh, in all these cell wall, these components are there. But in one case, maybe oxygen is present. In another case, oxygen is absent. Like that. See, the cellulose is present. Pectin is present. Oxygen is present. And uh, manganese are there. Galactans are there. And uh, other types of uh, phosphated. Uh, Yeah, sulfated esters also present. Sulfated esters also present. Right? See, that is about that cell wall composition and the pigments of chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, chlorophyll C, chlorophyll D, xanthophytes are there and the phytophytes also present. Here, these are also. But suppose in one case chlorophyll A is present, chlorophyll B is present. In second case, chlorophyll A is there and chlorophyll C is there. In third case, chlorophyll A and D. See. Here the pigments also differ from one type of algae to another type of algae. Chlorophyll, one type of pigments are present. Pheophyll, another type of pigments are present. Rhodophyll, another type of pigments are present. But in all the algae, these pigments are these pigments are present, right? And see, yeah, coming to the reproduction process is the the very first one is the fragmentation process. We know if the body part is fragmented and each fragment have the capacity to produce the new algae or a new type of uh, organ new organisms right fragmentation the spirogyra is the best example already we know the spirogyra and the eulogies uh, are the filamentous algae if the body form is divided or the filamentous structures are breaking down and each fragment has the capacity to produce that uh, new spirogyra or the New geometric structures are new algae produced. Right? And coming to the next one is that the sexual reproduction process. There is a juice spores are produced. We already discussed within that fungi juice spores. Juice means here monad. Juice means here monad. So here the sexual spores are monad. Sexual spores are monad. Right? Here the juice spores. For suppose Chlamydomonas is the best example. This is one of the Chlamydomonas. Right? Uh, Cells which produces the reproductive organs with that uh, there is a uh, <coughs> spores are produced. There is a spores are produced, right? Which releases from inside to outside. Which releases from inside to outside. So here the important uh, concept is within that chlamydomonas, within that chlamydomonas, this kind of a spore, there is a uh, epithelial flagellus are present. Epithelial flagellus are present here. Two to eight flagellas are present. Two to eight flagellas are present, right? The flagellas will change the apical position with the chlamydomonas, especially the chlorophyll, right? This one is called the chlorophyll. And the pheophyll. See, here there is a pear-shaped, pear-shaped spores are produced, right? See, there is a lateral flagellas are present. Lateral flagellas are present. So in the case of the pheophyll. Okay, pear shape. The shape is a pear shape. The spore shape is a pear shape. And uh, two flagellas are present. Two flagellas are present in the lateral side. Two flagellas are present in the lateral side. Mostly the flagellas also are equal. Mostly the flagellas also are equal. Right? That is about that like, uh, pheophyse juice spore. So here the shape is a pear shape. Right? And uh, next one is the sexual repression. Sexual repression. Right. In that case, we know isogamous means both the gametes are having equal size. Both the gametes are having equal size. Right? Both the gametes are having equal size. Right? In certain cases, mutai. In certain cases, non-mutai. Mutai means if these are having flagella, if these are having flagella, these are mutai. So here, isogamous means. Equal sizes of the male and female gametes. If these are having the flagella, these are mutai. Mutai examples are the chlamydomonas and the eulogics. Chlamydomonas and eulogics. These are the best examples of the mutai spores, which produces the equal size of male and the female gametes. And as soon as the non-mutai, with the non-mutai, this is spirogyra. Means here the lobe-body organs are absent. Both are having equal size, but the flagella is absent. So here the best example is the spirogyra and the cladopora. Spirogyra and the cladopora, right? These are the examples for the non-mutai. Right? 
and capital H means that the uh, energy ions. Energy ions means what is that large size, other than the small size, other than the small size. Right? So here this one is called as energy ions, right? And uh, examples are here chlorobromonas and the uh, urorina, urorina, right? Uh, chlorobromonas and the uh, urorina. These are the examples, right? And uh, last one is that ions. Ions is nothing but uh, always the uh, female gametes are having large size always the female gametes are having large size and female gametes are static position static means always fixed to one position which are non mobile always the female gametes are non mobile fixed to one position the condition is called as static and the male gametes are maybe the motile or maybe the non motile maybe the motile or maybe the non motile right so this condition is called as oogamous. This condition is called as oogamous. Examples are wallbacks and the fucus. Wallbacks and the fucus. Right? That is a book that uh, reproduces characters of the algae. Remember, here especially the sexual reproduction is the very very important one. Examples: which one is motile, which one is non-motile. And I say gamous examples and oogamous examples. Remember the plant kingdom. Okay, quite easy, but uh, many. Number of examples, plenty of examples are there. Okay, the remembrance means uh, if we prepare uh, one of that uh, uh, green color, see, yeah, stick papers. Okay, we have to prepare that stick papers. Right? See, the stick papers are attached to the NCRT textbook uh, particular uh, page. Right? We have to note all these examples also there. Then, if we study in that manner, then uh, we remember uh, the examples uh, very efficiently. Then, uh, with an examination, without any confusion, we can choose the answers. Right? Remember the plant kingdom. Uh, okay, within the plant kingdom, all examples are very very important. All examples are very very important. Just, this is our way. Okay, these are the examples. Then we have the primates, we have the terrapids, we have the genus, forms and dinosaurs. So all these examples are very very important. Next one we will discuss about the uh, economic importance of the algae. Coming to the next topic is the economic importance of the algae. See, in that case, uh, the very first one is the uh, half of the carbon dioxide fixed by the algae. Means the uh, concept is very simple. Maximum portion of the earth is covered by the water. Means uh, one by third part is the only land, remaining part is covered by the water, right? So all these are the aquatic organisms and the very first organisms. So which are known in aquatic water, marine water, and the brackish water. So which performs that uh, maximum photosynthesis process because more number of plants are there, more amount of photosynthesis is takes place, more amount of carbon dioxide is absorbed, more amount of carbon dioxide is. Right, so here, high uh, half of the carbon dioxide uh, which is present on the earth fixed by the algae and increase the dissolved oxygen into the water. And just now I said when the photosynthesis is takes place, that time high amount of oxygen is released. High amount of oxygen means uh, within the photosynthesis process, the byproduct is the oxygen. There is then uh, six molecules of carbon dioxide and twelve molecules of water which gives rise to the uh, C6H12O6 that is nothing but glucose and there is in, uh, six molecules of oxygen is released and six molecules of water also released. So the oxygen is the byproduct is here, oxygen is also very important product to survive all the living creatures. So uh, all these plants are present within the water, oxygen also released within the water, then the dissolved oxygen is increased. The dissolved oxygen of the water is Increase. Then all the creations are survived and uh, more uh, fishes production and more algae production is uh, takes place. Right? And these are the primary producers. See, uh, these are the primary creations which uh, majorly maintains that uh, food web, means whatever that uh, uh, food chain or the food webs are there. All these are dependent upon the primary producers because these are the plants which produces the which performs the photosynthesis and which are the, uh, put to the so many number of organisms, which are put to the so many number of organisms, right? And Sargassa, Lamaria, and uh, among 70 species, and among 70 species uh, are used as food and
and the quarter. See, uh, in some of the restaurants, not uh, here, but if we uh, if we go to the five star and uh, the top restaurants, okay. See, uh, before we can put uh, some of the uh, green color or the brown color and different types of uh, okay, components or uh, different types of uh, materials, food materials are provided for us. These are uh, nothing but uh, uh, some of that uh, edible algae are there, edible algae are there, we are eating, right? We are eating that components. Right? So here for example, lamnaria and 70 species are used as food under water. Water means here we are supplied to that uh, animals, right? See, we are also eating that algae, we are also eating that algae, right? Algae and kerosene. Algae is from brown algae. Algae is, algae is from brown algae. Right? Kerosene is from red algae. Kerosene is from red algae. Right? So here, so here, what I am trying to say, algae is producing from the brown algae. Kerosene is producing from the red algae. Right? See, algae and the kerosene, these are the hydrocolloid substances means the components have the capacity to hold the water the components which have the capacity to hold the water so these are also very important elements in the transportation some of the living tissues and some of the metals are transported some of the metals are transported presence of this algae and the kerosene substances which are also used in the laboratory the algae and the kerosene which are also used in the laboratory also right See, which are hydrocolloid substances which, which holds the water, right? And the Grassleria and the Geridium species. Grassleria and the Geridium species. These are red algae. Grassleria and Geridium species, which are red algae, right? See, which produces the agar agar. The plant body produces the agar agar. Agar agar used in laboratories, especially Microbial laboratories, microbial laboratories, right? So here, what I'm trying to say, within that microbial laboratories, there is a petri plates are there. These are the petri plates. They are cultivating the microorganisms. They are cultivating the microorganisms. Within the plant tissue culture also, we are preparing. Okay, we are preparing the nutrient media. We are preparing the nutrient media, which forms the slants forms the plants. Either microbial culture, either plant tissue culture, right? We are adding agar agar to the nutrient media. This one is actually a solidifying agent. Right. 